This is the Aura 15. It's a 15.6 inch Linux based laptop from the Tuxedo Computers Company in Germany. So I've been wanting to get my hands on a laptop for a while now. So I was thrilled when I reached out to Tuxedo Computers and uh, talked to them about possibly sponsoring a video. And they responded with, hey, spec out a system and let us know what you have in mind. So of course there was part of me that just wanted to go completely nuts with a custom build. But then I thought about it for a minute and realized, you know, I've got a desktop computer that I can do gaming and video editing and that sort of thing on. So what I really decided to go with here was something practical and reliable and something that I could take with me on the go. So for my system specs, I went with 16 gigs of RAM, but it is super easy to upgrade if I decide to do that later. It has a Ryzen 4500U with Radeon graphics on board with a base clock of 2.3 gigahertz and a max boost clock of four gigahertz. And it only has a default TDP of 15 watts. I went with a 500 gig Kingston MDME drive that again is super easy to upgrade later if I decide to do that. And I also added a Huawei 4 gig LTE SIM card option for mobile data if I ever need it. The screen is a 1920 by 1080 IPS panel that in my opinion just looks great. The frame and overall construction is solid due to the aluminum chassis and display lid. The screen bezels and wrist rest are both plastic, but they look great and match the aesthetic very, very well. And all of this can be yours for about 973 euros or about $1,100 US. It's got one USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C port that supports DisplayPort 1.4 and DC charging. It has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A port, two USB 2.0 type A ports, one HDMI 2.0 port that supports HDCP and 4K 30 Hertz on Linux and 4K 60 Hertz on Windows. It has one full-sized gigabyte LAN port, a Kensington lock, a micro SD card reader, and a nano SIM card slot that I had mentioned earlier. As I mentioned, the screen is 1920 by 1080 IPS, and I'm actually glad to see that they didn't offer a 4K option. I really feel like 4K on a 15.6 inch screen is just unnecessary. The keyboard looks great and has RGB backlighting on it with the option to change the color of the keys to a few different predefined colors or has the option to just turn the RGB off entirely. Also, the keys feel great to use. They have a decent looking font on them and I actually love that they put their little tuxedo computer logo where the Windows key would have been on most other keyboards. The Aura 15 comes with a 49 watt hour battery and they claim that it's good for about nine hours of battery life with the 1080p resolution and the screen dimmed just a bit. They also claim that you can get up to 15 hours with minimum screen brightness and with uh, your wireless and Bluetooth and keyboard backlighting all turned off. The system also comes with a 65 watt charger and the system supports something called Flexi Charger, which the Tuxedo website says. With Flexi Charger activated, your Tuxedo book can be operated exclusively via the alternating current connection without affecting the battery's charge. This prevents unnecessary microcharging and discharging, which reduces the battery life. This is especially useful when your Tuxedo book is connected to a power supply for a long period of time. Flexi charger can be deactivated or activated in the BIOS at any time. Overall, the battery life hasn't really been an issue for me. Uh, usually it's plugged in, but when I need it, uh, I can just take it and use it when I'm laying in bed and I wanna get some work done or I'm sitting in front of the TV and wanna just mess around on the internet. Uh, it just works and I've never really had an issue with the battery running out on me by just using it a few hours a time here and there. The Aura line of laptops comes with the Tuxedo Control Panel pre-installed. It has pre-configured power plans or you can build your own power plans with it. And building your own power plans allows you to do things like control the fan speed, disable CPU cores, set the minimum and maximum frequency of the CPU, and even do things like disable the webcam. Now, while I mentioned that I didn't want this laptop for gaming, I was able to install Steam on it. And I played a few games, uh, including CSGO and Dirt Rally, and both played pretty well even on Linux with free frame rates being respectable for a mobile CPU and onboard graphics, of course, with the graphics settings on the games turned down just a little bit to make things work better. So with the way I typically use this Aura system, it doesn't actually get very loud as far as the fans are concerned. In fact, they rarely ever do turn on. Uh, the exception to that, of course, is when I'm recording my screen for the videos that I make to put on my YouTube channel. So what I've gone ahead and decided to do is actually put a laptop cooling pad under it with some larger fans to help keep air moving on the system while keeping the noise to a minimum. 
So now let's talk about a couple of areas where I was actually a little bit disappointed with the Aura 15. Uh, the first one was the webcam here. I'll just let you take a look. I, I, it's not great. So this is the webcam and microphone setup on the Aura 15 Gen 1. Uh, it's a one megapixel 640 by 480 camera, which I guess is fine. Um, of course, if you wanted a higher resolution, you could obviously get a webcam and plug in, but that's not terribly ideal in, in most, you know, portable situations. So uh, if you're looking for something with a great webcam, this may be something you want to consider uh, when purchasing a laptop. But again, this is a Linux laptop meant more for productivity than it is for, for content production and things like that. Uh, and I feel like if you're, if you're using this for meetings and that sort of thing, it's probably going to be just fine. The other area where I was really let down with this is the sound, the speakers. Uh, they are downward firing, which I guess is fine, but uh, they're, they're small, they're tinny, they do not sound good at all. So they will let you know that there's audio happening and you could probably get by in an emergency situation, but I would definitely uh, consider getting some speakers or some headphones or something like that if you're going to be consuming any kind of media with this device. So guys, that is my experience with the Aura 15. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it's never it's never let me down. It's been very solid, it feels great. It's got just a little bit of heft to it. Again, the aluminum body really does give it a premium feel. I love the fit and finish of the entire thing. It looks good, it feels good. Again, it feels premium. And of course you're gonna pay that premium, but I, I really do think it's worth it as long as you can forgive the webcam and the speakers. So I do wanna thank Tuxedo Computers for sending this over to me to give me a chance to experience their product line. I'm really, really happy with this laptop and I'm sure that I will be using it for the foreseeable future. If you'd like to check out the Tuxedo Computers line, definitely check the link in the description to see what kind of things that they have to offer that might be a good fit for you and whatever it is you do in your day-to-day -day life. So guys, I think that's actually gonna wrap up this video. I wanna just take a second to say thank you for spending a couple minutes of your time with me today. And I think with all of that said, I'm gonna let you go. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.